Guys, in this video, we are going to learn how we can build a dark theme in Tailwind CSS version 4. So here on the screen, I have a new React app where I have already set up a Tailwind CSS and we also have a Tailwind CSS documentation open here. If you want to know how to set up a Tailwind CSS from start in a new React white app, I already have another video on that and I'm going to be leaving a link to that video in the description. In this app, we have already set up a Tailwind CSS and we have a Hello World application running on localhost. Before we start coding, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. To understand how we can build a dark theme in this React app, we are going to explore Tailwind CSS documentation. Let's go to the Tailwind CSS documentation. Here under the documentation, if I open the sidebar, I should be able to find a dark mode documentation here where it's clearly defined how we can implement dark mode in Tailwind CSS. So in this documentation, if I scroll down a little bit, I'll be able to find a chunk of code that I'll be able to use to implement dark theme in Tailwind CSS. So let's go to our index.css file and let's copy this chunk of code from here and let's put it here. So this one line of code is going to activate the dark mode in Tailwind CSS and we are going to see how it's going to actually work here on the screen. Now before we write some Tailwind CSS here to implement dark mode, we have to define a custom theme variables here and in Tailwind CSS version 4, we are going to use a theme keyword to define our custom variables. So here I'm just going to define a two custom color variables and these are going to be primary and primary dark. So I'm going to be using this color in my dark mode and I'm going to be using this color in my light mode theme. You can change the colors as you want. Here in app.jsx, I should be able to use my custom color variables. So I'm just going to assign a background here and the background is going to be primary. So that is basically my primary background. And to define the color that I'm going to be using in the dark mode, I'm just going to be using a dark keyword with a colon. And here I can define a background color, which I'm going to be using on a dark mode. And this is going to be primary dark. Let me close this so we can see the code better. So now that we have defined the background color that we are going to use on the light in the dark mode, we can also define the text color. So on the light mode, I'm just going to use a black text, which is coming by default. But on the dark mode, I can say that my text is going to turn to white. So as of now on the screen, we can only see the light mode colors that we have defined. Now the question is, how can I enable the dark mode in this project? To enable the dark mode on this div tag, I'm just going to go to my wrapper div, which is wrapping this div tag, and I can assign a class name here, and this is going to be dark. If I assign a dark as a class name, this is going to enable the dark mode on this div tag, and the theme is going to turn to dark. And if I remove the dark keyword here, this is going to go back to the light mode. But we are going to do this with the help of a button here, which is going to be a toggle button. So I'm just going to add a button here. And I'm also going to create a state here, which is going to be is dark. This state is basically going to be tracking whether user has activated the dark mode or not. And this is going to be set dark. Initially, it's going to be false. And on this button, which is going to be basically toggle dark. So this button we are going to be using to toggle the dark and the light theme. And here I'm just going to place my function. When someone is going to click on this button, I'm just going to be calling the function, which is toggle theme. As of now, we don't have this function. So I'm just going to create it here. This is going to be toggle theme. And what exactly this function is going to do is it's going to set dark to not is dark. If the theme is already dark, it's going to change it to not dark. And if the theme is light, it's going to change it to dark theme. And now here, instead of like directly hard coding the class name that is dark, I can actually use my state to define which class I'm going to assign here on the div tag, I can say that if is dark, I'm just going to assign a class name dark. Otherwise, I'm just going to assign an empty class name. And if I click on toggle dark, this is going to switch between dark and the light mode. Now to improve this button further, instead of using the text here, I'm just going to say if my is dark is true, we are going to be using a SVG, which is going to be basically a sun icon. And if my is dark is false, we are going to be using another SVG, which is basically a moon icon. And we can also assign some styling on this button, which is going to say class name is going to be fixed. Top is going to be four and the right is going to be four. This is going to move this icon here in the on the side of this component. Now this is how it's going to look. And the text is going to be white. And if we do that now, I'm just going to click on it. It's going to switch between dark and light modes. If you found a value in this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.